Let me go ahead and start talking now because when I switch this screen, it might all be messed up. It's not. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you did it. My settings. My settings. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh god well welcome everybody season two episode 15 made in dreams podcast per usual forever and always i am your host mighty vicious joined by my co-host jamie james from across the pond how are we doing Gavna? Gavna. <laughs> <Gavna. laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the and, way, I have I have something hovering over my face. What what's going on there? I don't know. But it disappeared. There we oh, go. There we go. All right. There we go, Gabna. Thank you very much, Gabna. Cheese. So, and joining us today is one of my favorite personalities in the Dreamiverse, MC Alchemist. How you doing, bud? I'm doing very well. How's it going? Howdy, dreamers. Good to chat. <laughs> Indeed. Well, to get it started today, um, uh, Give us a rundown on the mad chemistry and golden variables of being the living philosopher's stone known as MC Alchemist. Tell us Great, about it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've been in here since the beta, uh, all the way back on the first day um, in December. Uh, basically, the only reason my name is MC Alchemist is because I had signed up for MM's newsletter on a different email. That is not my, like, normal PSN. So I had to, oh. like, make a whole... Make a whole new one so I could get into the beta. Um, so yeah, that was definitely worth it though. Um, <laughs> yeah. But actually, um, my my beta name was Dark Lord four two four two. Dark Lord, um, I don't, yes. Yeah, I don't, if, if anyone remembers, yeah. That's that's yeah. I, awesome. I did I didn't make that name, but um, yeah. Now now it's something different. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've been yeah dreaming since the beta. Uh, like a little over two years now. It's time mm. has flown by. And yeah, I, I really had I had not done. I wasn't a super creative person. Um, I grew up playing the violin uh, for nine years of my life. I was I was pretty good at that. Um, but yeah, making music was really the only uh, like creative outlet I had. And I just heard about dreams uh, as soon as I got the PSVR um, like three years ago. Looking at games that were coming out for the PSVR, and yeah, that's how I found out about it. And the rest is history. Wow, that's that's a shock. Because my next question was going to be, what is your you know background? Was it in game development or graphic arts? But it's you know no. it's it's the same shock I have from you know when I spoke with Captain Morgan, where you know mm. he's he's like a plumber, and he was just like, yeah, I just started doing dreams, and I love it. And I'm just, right. wow, that's I just, great. I just, I just love how it brings out the creator in people. Like, you know, we, we talk to people from so many different backgrounds and like to talk to them and their actual profession that they do, you would never think that someone so opposite to dreams would be able to do what they do with dreams. And I just love how it just unlocks that creativity and it's just like, go do it. And people just yeah. come out and realize how much they love something that they necessarily never thought they ever would. I just yeah. love it. Yeah, I feel like I've read nearly every comment there could be about dreams. And there's there's always the people who are like, I, I really don't think I'm ever going to create. I, I only want to play. Is dreams good for just playing? And that that just really irks me because you, you don't you just don't know. Like you, mm. might, you might try. You should always be like open to like, maybe this could be fun. Yeah, because you yeah. might be missing out. Yeah, I mean, but at least they want to play. I mean, that, that like, yeah, yeah, there yeah. Is that. <laughs> like my answer will always be yes to both. But uh, yeah, yeah, because I, I mean, because I often think about it in the terms of like, uh, as always, movies, and you know, when people say things like "there's nothing to watch on Netflix," and I'm like. Eh, like that means to me that that tells me that you only watch what people tell you to like mm. you're not you're not you're not really jumping in and just being like i love movies so i can when you when i heard your the disgust in your voice alchemist when you said that i was like <laughs> i was like i know that i know that i can identify mm. with that um but you know I, I guess where we start here is is there anything you would like to discuss off the bat or should we just begin pegging you with questions 
Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I have like questions for you too, but Ooh, okay. we, can, we like, I don't have to get to that now. Oh, so we're going to get, you know. we're going to get to it. Cause my last question was whether you had questions for us. <laughs> so, I mean, we'll, we'll start off with the, um, I guess it, an interesting topic you brought up on Twitter and we don't have to spend too much time on this if you don't want to, but you asked whether or not people felt Dreams was successful. And I want to hear more about your thought process behind it as, you know, I believe it was in the midst of a conversation I was having regarding Dreams expansion, 10-year plan, like continued success in the business sphere. But I don't know, I felt like I could feel your emotion <laughs> when 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 you jumped into the convo so i wanted to know like is there something more behind that yeah i think like dreams as a product itself is extremely successful at what it does which is so many different things it's everything at once is part of that success they can make music and games and animations on the same platform like just as an artistic medium in itself it, it's just it's, it's mind blowing how successful it is. And then there's, so there's that, there's like the product itself. And then there's like its outward perception and its uh, community as a platform. That's like another uh, like uh, measure of success barometer, uh, if you will. Uh, so yeah, I, I think dreams is a success in both of those regards. And just cause it's a personal, like personally for me, like I've gotten so much out of it like more than any other game uh or platform uh, or app ever so Mm -hmm. yeah i don't think it could be any more successful in in like in my own personal view and i stop me if i'm wrong but i felt as though you felt i was saying something different and i don't know no I I, i don't think it was yeah Okay, because I don't think there's anyone here, at least, that would argue that it's it in itself is a success. Yeah. Um, you know, and I don't think there's you know. Feel free in chat if anybody here disagrees. Um, but I wanted to make sure that it didn't sound like in the conversation I was having, if it if it sounded like or if you felt like I was trying to say it wasn't. I mean, yeah, definitely not. Cause I like, I, I criticize dreams all the time. I ask for things all the time, even though pixel gorilla doesn't like when people do that on Twitter, <laughs> I, did, I did it today. Cause you know, I just like yelling into the void. But, yeah. I mean, I think I saw what you're saying. It was it about the, the haptic, the haptic engine. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the oh, stuff. yeah. I am dying to uh, like actually play with the haptics on the dual sense. Oh yeah. I mean, I There's think so much it's... opportunity there. I think it's definitely something that would be pretty easy for them to implement, but I think they just can't right now because I ultimately think there is going to be a PS5 version of Dreams that is going to be massively different to, you know, what you can do with the PS4 version. Hmm. But I think they're just waiting for that handover um, period where people can actually move to the new console purely because there isn't any for people to buy. I think once you know, we get to that point where the mass majority of, of console gamers have moved to the next gen, I think then they will make that move because, you know, like we've discussed before, and we don't need to get into it, but, you know, there will be that split where people are making yeah. stuff on the PS5 version that will, just will not be playable on the PS4 version. So I think just adding, like, little things like haptic feedback and stuff, I think they'd rather just hold off and just release a full, blown-out PS5 version and be done with it. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I, I've I've heard them talk about how robust their um, statistics system is on the back end. Mm. Uh, I guarantee you, they have data on how many, like, what percentage of users are on PS5 or versus yeah. PS4. So uh, there's definitely got to be a, like a tipping point number for that. Yeah, and I think you know once the stock comes back in, and you know it's easy to get a hold of i think once the majority of dreamers have moved to playstation 5 
I think then they will probably start considering, okay, well, let's just develop. They might even be developing it now, for all we know, and just keeping it in the backlog, ready to push the button once the numbers are there. Yeah. The, I mean, I feel like as far as haptic stuff goes, it's simply they've already taken like a year and a half of suggestions. <laughs> so, <laughs> there is that too. So, so, so oh, there it's are like, more. So, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. And, and you know, um, kind of going kind of going back to it because i i really don't want anyone to misunderstand my stance when it comes to dreams as a, as a success like um i just for me i love like we all love dreams we love that it exists and i believe we all want it to get better mm. and i think there is a group of people who are just like yo it is what it is i'm happy with this and I'm happy with what it is now. If it never changed another thing, I would still be on dreams for the foreseeable and non-foreseeable future because, like I told you all before, it's it's literally the game I was asking for for the last decade and a half. And I have a track line of podcasts to, <laughs> to where you can <laughs> track me back to it. Um, but I do... The thing, the reason I bring up the topic uh, often whenever I'm speaking with other dreamers is because I know that, you know, one of my main things is it's kind of like when, when, uh, when Marvel, that I know I'm going into movies, but just stay with me. When Marvel makes a movie, they don't adhere directly to the comic because they already know they have the comic fans and i feel like that like so they do things to so that it becomes more accessible to people who have never picked up a comic in their life and when they fail to do that that's when you see movies fail or they're just bad movies but you know it's like when it doesn't have that appeal my worry and it's purely worry out of love for dreams is that and why I took it so hard when like last year's video game awards came out and dreams didn't win an award. And I was like, Oh my God, like, you know, the, the, like that's that moment where everybody's watching. So if dreams was able to, you know, take home an award at that moment, it would have been like a bunch of little kids who are just sitting there looking to see if, you know, last of us or call of duty or whatever, all that crowd would have been able to go, wait, what's dreams? And the fact that, and, and so that's why it hit me because it, it is business. This is all business. So while I'm happy and they don't have to do anything ever to make me stay on the platform, I know that there's going to become an end to how big the platform can be if it can't bring in those outside people. And so that's why I often talk about it if that if that makes you want to bring up anything else mc alchemist <laughs> I, I mean i i'm fairly certain dreams is going to win a video game award at, at some point oh they've uh, won just, many since I, no i mean like the the big one oh. the big mm. the big yeah, show yeah, yeah. uh just because there's uh a few categories for li like live service games and like communities and I, yeah i was it was very strange it wasn't even nominated i don't think for the community award at the last the last show but the whole game is the community so i feel like that's yeah. a lot going for it <laughs> yeah. yeah well i mean from what you just said my vicious like i agree with you but i disagree with you at the same time and what i mean by that is is yes i too would be very happy if nothing else happened with dreams i would be content with it and that would be fine but on the other side of my brain, I'm like, actually, I would be really, really cheesed off if that happened. Because we need we need dreams to grow, right? We need we need more players, we need more creators, we need more people to join the community because that's the whole point of it. It's just we, we're trying to create a metaverse here of creators and players. But we need it to grow because I just feel that Media Molecule are not finished. I feel that they have so much more that they want to do. Oh, yeah. And 
you know they just cross me as the people that are never going to be finished you know they're just so adventurous and so experimental and you know just for their sake alone i want this to continue to grow just so they can keep playing with it yeah so you you know you agree with me yeah I suppose. <laughs> yeah, cuz <'cause>, cuz <laughs> my only cuz like I said, I want to see how big it can go because before the game like the month dreams released, they had already had articles talking about how they were thinking about like professional licenses mm. and it coming mm. to to, you know, PC eventually and stuff like that and I'd love to see that happen. I know you don't agree with that, but I'd love yeah. to see that happen. <laughs> Because more people is more people, but you know, I also know that that will not happen if Sony is like, "Hey, this isn't working. You should start working on your next IP. We'll still back you." If mm. it, that, because that's the business of it, and so like you know, that's why I always have this sense of this sense of urgency. When you know that a lot of people dislike <laughs> when it but, when it when it comes to dreams because I'm like I know it's a it's a race against the clock because one day you I'm gonna tell you we can start we can, we can start <laughs> quoting we can start quoting instances in which the clock <laughs> ran out from games that immediately just went oh we're we, we're moving on now. Like just yeah, in for, the past six months, for any and, other game, I would totally agree with you. With Dreams, I could not disagree with you more. There is no, I don't think there is a, a clock and a rush to get the people in before Sony pull off the plug and say it's not I'm working. Not, We're not, not saying, investing no more. I'm not saying it's happening next month. I'm just <laughs> no, no, I, I seriously think Sony are the ones that are playing the long game with this. Like, mm. I think they're the ones that seriously think, you know what, this is not going to blow up for at least four or five years. And we're fine with that because we can see the potential of what it can be. That's where I think they are with it. OK, good. I mean, I this is my thing. I this is where I stand on the topic. I hope in every bit of my soul that you're absolutely <laughs> correct <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's i mean that's where it comes down to but i'd love to have that much faith in a company but i don't have that much faith in really any company other than media mm. molecule like that's mm. that's it so you know but anyway anyway so uh, I, I, go I ahead. think yeah i think sony's making bank and they they have enough cash to have a little pet project like yeah this is super cool okay maybe it's not amazingly popular uh, but we know how great it is um, and the media molecule definitely have a lot of like cards up their sleeves they got the multiplayer update they got a free month on ps plus they got splitting up play and create maybe they got the pc release ps5 release psvr2 release mm. and yeah. yeah pc maybe like that's that's a lot of things that can push the needle yeah, I I mean, I I see no reason. Like if if I I feel comfortable saying that if there was an issue and the time did run out, I think I would be so heartbroken that I might just never buy anything Sony ever again. <laughs> oh my god, that's a strong but, claim. I, <laughs> hey, hey, I've I've made Not the I've time. I've made the claim about companies before and I don't buy from them no matter what. Like, I'm just saying like it, it, that's how strongly I feel, but I don't want to, we kind of jumped right into the, yeah, we into, kinda, into yeah. the meat and potatoes <laughs> with this and, and, and it, it see it is, but it's not how I wanted it to go because let's be real. We, 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 we sit in the presence of dreams royalty so, yeah, you know, wow! <laughs> In my mind, I, I love like I love seeing the things that you say on Twitter and whenever you produce work. So, like, I mean, I'm just going to jump right. Wait, they're trying to stop me. Payoff Wizard, welcome. I saw Olet and All Star. All of you jump in. I love you all. Thank you for joining us. Uh, it says if Dreams is around in ten years, it's going to be as 
something a lot different to what it is now. That's what I want. That's what I, I mm. dream of. I'm like, I want to know if you have a 10 year plan, what is that 10 years? And like, what is it going to look like when that comes to an end? And will it end? And th- that's exciting to me. Dream that too, baby. Yeah, that gets my blood pressure up, which might stop me from being here to see that. But the point is, it is I, I still would love to see that. Um, but like I said, we have a guest. And I, and I want, <laughs> so look, Alchemist, we're going in. Uh, everyone can see the reel now that we've put together for you. And uh, I do want to just start with kind of like, I guess your dreams journey like so far and like where you think it's leading you being that you said you didn't start out with, you know, graphic arts or anything like that. Like you do a lot of work Mm. in dreams, like a lot Uh, that I'm, I'm like, you must have all the time, but I know you don't. (laughs) Uh, I'm a nine, I'm a nine to five. Yeah. Well, eight to six, but semantics. Same. (laughs) So, you know, (laughs) But yeah, so like your dreams journey, like where is this taking you personally, professionally? Like, do you even think about it in those terms? Um, it very is just mu- just for fun, in my opinion. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at like a, a nice enough point in my life where I don't I don't like need to make money off dreams or being creative. So I, I like that that's separate. That makes sense. Yeah, perfect sense. But yeah, the the journey has been interesting. So yeah, I mentioned that I played um, violin growing up, and that like totally ruined my um, like how I hold a pencil. Um, so I I could never draw like because I held the pencil like a violin bow all like fucked up. Huh. Um, so Ooh. yeah, I could never I could never draw uh, for my life uh, or like paint or make uh, art really in the traditional sense. So like a three three D digital art really solves a lot of that because like you don't you don't need perfect like technique like the the technique is more in like um, like art theory even and just like knowing what the world looks like like having a good reference like that's why John Beach is is so amazing because he's just so much knowledge like he just knows exactly every part that's on a tank mm. um, so he, he knows how to create it um, but yeah I. I I, it's it's mixed. I don't I don't know if I'd give this advice to everyone, but I sort of did everything from the get go in dreams. Um, and I know a lot of people will say, yeah, just start learning like one thing, like learn how to make a song, learn how to sculpt something. I yeah, I did everything all at the same time. So, <laughs> like the, the my very first game, you can it's still on my profile. I released it in in the beta, and yeah, it's it's really really terrible. Um, <laughs> but it was it was a lot of fun to make and it took me like three weeks to get this like one level together but it was like a full thing like a whole level with like music and platforming and combat so like that first project really taught me so much about just how to do everything kind of m- mediocrely mm. um so yeah i thought i thought that was a great like base to start off of but as I get like further into it, I'm I'm almost regretting it, but not really because I certainly found things that I really like to do and I think I'm good at, like making special effects and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like with paint, like paint's my favorite thing to do, yeah. basically. And I, I just yeah, I just spent so much time doing it. I've gotten I'm pretty decent at it, um, but I, yeah, I've I've certainly neglected like other areas of dreams, like I'm really not the best sculptor like i can only sculpt things that aren't perfect like like nature and environment assets and scenery but like technical sculpting is still like super difficult for me to make it like actually look how i want it how i want it to Hmm. um so yeah at first i was gonna say like yeah that's called having a style but then when you said how i want it to look that made me second guess saying that because <laughs> yeah, it's like the vision you have in your mind of what you want to make and then how it actually like turns out. <laughs> Usually not the same, but yeah. that's part of the fun. Yeah. I remember asking on a media molecule stream with uh, Kareem and he's sort of doing like a Q and a at the end. And I asked like, what's the best way for uh, like an artist or anyone really to develop their own personal style. And his answer was basically don't <laughs> like, 
the whole point is that that just like comes naturally and if you like try then it, that that kind of defeats the purpose and i thought that yeah. was super insightful and i was definitely glad i asked him it's like, yeah. that guy's a genius yeah i mean it's cream but like I, at first i was gonna be like huh how do i feel about that not like i matter but i was like how do how do i feel about that and then i was like you know what that is like you know being in art school like that's together that's kind of what they would tell you is you know you you learn to draw like because i have this thing where i hate the idea of of um basically of using reference it, like i just don't like it i've never have like i just you know but i understand the power of it because if you know how to draw it correctly then you know how to do it incorrectly like how you yeah. can move mm -hmm. the lines around and so that's kind of um yeah that i mean what he said is basically that it, you know it's just don't you like using reference and all that stuff like learning how it's supposed to look allows you to distort it into the style so yeah that's that's cool i never i never got to uh throw any questions at kareem and uh like i said this is, yeah oh, i, this I is wish he would start streaming again like we haven't seen kareem in forever i think it's what um when i was watching medium molecule stream maybe like a month ago uh they were saying how you know most of the people we see in like the streams and stuff during the pandemic it was because those were the people that had the ability to actually mm. stream like yeah. they they they, uh, they had the yeah and i don't think i don't think kareem i think kareem's just out and about like you know i think he's like doing <laughs> other stuff Wild yeah and so it's like and, and, you know at some point we i think we will see him again and you know as we make our way through media molecule with guests we're, we're like we're gonna get them we're yeah. gonna get them wait, wait. It's, that it's, is that is the goal now of this entire show is that one day we get kareem on the show that's yeah. it then that's it i can die a happy get man a lot of wisdom out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean my hope is that that i can have like a full dream uh, like media molecule round table Oh, we have like God. multiple that would be people. Next level, yeah. That would just yeah. be too much. I wouldn't be able to handle it. It'd be too much. It'd oh, be too God. much. <laughs> It'd just be so, <laughs> too much goodness in one go. <laughs> so so many questions. Well, uh, speaking of, you were talking about you know, any, or you had asked if he had any new things, and being that it's on the screen right now, I want to give mm. it its time. But you know, uh, even before you know you said dreams tactics and like in the public sphere you seem super excited about it like i love that energy i have to thank you because i love when a dreamer comes on you can tell the passion but tell us tell us about dreams tactics let us know this this new project you're about to finish um i'm like two and a half weeks into it so i guess we'll see i have no All idea right. okay um yeah, I never really yeah, putting timelines on things is, is terrible. It is. <laughs> it's a horrible yeah. curse. <laughs> Whatever it's done, that's that's fine. Uh, but yeah, uh growing up uh, playing I think it was on like the Game Boy SP or something. Um playing Final Fantasy Tactics uh, mm. was definitely one of my favorite games of all time. And I, I just I yeah, so in the beginning of Dreams I was absolutely terrible at logic. I'm like Oh, I'm gonna be a way better sculptor than I am at making logic. And now, two years later, it's completely flipped on its head. <laughs> um, so I really just wanted to make a project to like test myself to see if I actually could do it, mm -hmm. like pull it off within 100% thermo. And I'm at 91 or two right now, um, gameplay thermo. And I'm like, okay, I think I can actually do it. So uh, now I'm like comfortable. Uh, like sharing it because it's it's actually gonna become a thing and uh, like the the gimmick was really multiplayer like I wanted this to be a, a multi, like whenever dreams multiplayer happens I wanted this to be like one of the very first uh, dreams that gets uh, support for it uh, so you can like play tactics with people online I feel like that would be super interesting yeah, so, um, so, to so get cool. up and running 
It would yeah, be pretty dope. A, yeah, I have like a wins scoreboard and uh, like a total kills scoreboard. So I wanted people like want people to rack rack up those wins. So are are you um are you are you using a set group of characters or is it characters from the Dreamiverse? Oh yeah, they're just random Dreamiverse characters. Um and definitely I dare you to try to figure out which two are I IP um cuz I found two characters that I really liked. I'm like, well shit, they're they're like other characters that exist elsewhere. <laughs> Oh, and I DIPified them, so they're ah, basically okay. unrecognizable. But if you if you go into the genealogy, I'm sure you can figure it out once it out, once it's out. But yeah, I just yeah. like replaced the head with an, <laughs> with another head, and <laughs> like just like trap this guy's hands off, and that was that. Huh. So like, do, I know you would. Uh, are you working on this primarily like solo? Um, yeah, like I built all the logic myself, but um, I like had to have Giles consult because um, like how how else am I going to do anything? Um, so yeah, he he helped me a good amount, um, especially with like the randomization system uh, for dropping yeah. items. Because um, of course I was doing it all wrong. I'm like, oh well, it works, but not well. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, and then well, that's the that, thing though. There's there's no right or wrong way really. Is there? There's so many different ways right. you can go around making mm-hmm. something. But when you're at a 91 percent thermo already, you're oh like, wow, yeah, like, my pose. margins are so thin. I need to do it like as efficiently yeah. as possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Tap has helped tremendously with that. He saved me like maybe 15 percent of that so far. Oh wow. Um. And then I had Noter, uh, t- Noter Damon, uh, test tested out so far and killed. Um, so both of them gave me great feedback that I've already implemented, like basically like feedback from Noter. I, I like reworked the entire movement system in a night and it's like a thousand times better. Huh? Yeah. So basically, yeah, it's, it looks, it's very different from that video already. Like I reworked all the UI, uh, thanks to the help of another dreamer, um, Angelo, um, who's a professional UI designer, and uh, he was kind enough to give me feedback um, that I went and did in Dreams. So yeah, it's 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 different. That that whole so like at the beginning of the year, I, I like made a tweet. I'm like, oh, I want to make more Dreams with other people, like that. Cause, and that's still something I want to do. But it's it, I'm finding it definitely hard like to find other people who want to make the same games as you. Mm. I think that's super difficult. Um, and yeah, I was going to ask you uh, you guys questions later about like working in groups and whatnot. But my philosophy has always been you like you can't really bring um, like if you want someone to make your game for you, that's not the way you should go about it. If you if you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like you come to someone, you're like, oh, I have this amazing idea. Um, like you want to group up and make it. And that that like usually isn't going to work out. Like, so my philosophy has always been, if you really want it to work, uh, you should like get together and, and then come up with an idea together. But I'm like, I can't put my money where my mouth is and, and actually make that happen. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I thought James is going to jump in after no, that no, one, but no, no, go ahead. Okay. So, um, I, I, I have a, you know we have, we have a history in this topic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you start, Jamie. Like, and and I mean, but I'm not going to go into that. It's more so. I'm not sure if it's hard to get people to work on your on like your project, or if it's just that everybody already has one or five. Yeah. So you know, so it's like. You know, it's it's hard to find people now because, you know, everybody's working on so many projects that it it, it is kind of like the people that you know you would want to work with you. Th- somebody's nabbed them like <laughs> so the best you could do is like or I found the best you could do is if you're looking for something very specific like just be like i'm going to work on this for however long i can and you know oh i need a city block 
and then be like, oh, well, if I can't find what I'm looking for, let me ask this person who does a l- bunch of architecture cap if uh, <laughs> if he can just come in and throw me together a city block or, you know, a specific building or something like that. Or if I need a character, uh, which I just personally wouldn't ask for, like I would ask someone to fix my character, <laughs> but I wouldn't. I, I My whole thing is like, yeah, I feel like I have a handle on characters now. And so like, but I don't have a handle on creating a, a walk cycle or anything like that. So I feel like it's, it's better at this point until we get like a huge influx of more creators and players that it, it feels better to approach someone with a specific piece as opposed to trying to get someone in on the ground floor of, Hey, you want to do this project? Right. That's, yeah. That, yeah. So yeah, definitely the status quo at the moment is like contract work like that, mm-hmm. which is like fine. It, I mean, it does, it's it works. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like making games together is also fun. So oh it yeah, because I mean, yeah, I've done it a few times with uh, Wushi slash Kerm Kerm whatever his new name is Kermidius. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hope he doesn't listen to that. <laughs> but, uh, His schedule's um, too busy. He, he, he oh, will hear the, it. The, um, the absolute most fun I've I've had in Dream so far is doing the um, a lot of the album artwork for the um, the album that Orion Cat Tracks um, recently produced. Um, so Orion Valentine and Black Cat Tracks are these two like insanely talented music creators, and they asked me to make uh, like visuals for their album. And yeah, I made my first album cover for someone and it was so much fun doing that. Yeah. So that was super rewarding. Like, it, it, like it, yeah, it, we were like part of a team, but like I was like just doing, doing things on my own for them. Mm. And I'm sorry, you said it was, who was like, who was the album for? Um, they made a group um, called Orion Cat Tracks. Um, so it's like kind of an in-game uh, music group, and the two dreamers are Orion Valentine and Black Cat Tracks. Definitely, definitely check them out if you're yeah, if you're into yeah, the I, music I, scene. I, yeah, I will. I thought I had been getting a little deeper into the music scene lately, but yeah, like I know I've heard the names, but mm. I don't think I heard about this project. So oh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, and then watch Dream Sounds uh, on its All Stars channel every Monday for sure. Like. I, yeah, I remember the first time I, I watched Dream Sounds. I was blown away. Like, oh, I knew yeah. That, I knew that like there was plenty of people who made music and dreams, but uh, All Star really brought them all together, uh, which was insanely yeah, the, helpful. The Monday Night Crew is is an amazing bunch of people. There are some They're very, really very talented people in that group. It's just like insane some of the stuff that you listen to what they've made, and it's just mind bending. <laughs> It really is. I love it. I love its all star streams. You just watch all these people and all the music that they've made from a category and stuff. And it's just like, oh, I just want to look at the actual thing and take it apart and see how you made these instruments and, and how you made that particular sound. I just I love it. It's so, so clever. They're a very clever bunch of people. Yeah. So the, the album is called Big Bad Bass. Definitely check it out if you mm. haven't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. I haven't seen that yet. It, it bumps for sure. And then Dale uh, is another like music video creator. Uh, Dale is really awesome too. He like made like characters for everyone in the, like the. There's like a whole Monday Night Crew universe now, so it's like <laughs> hilarious. Nice, nice. I've only ever been able to make it, I think, to two of those streams. But yeah. Just all shout shout out to it's all star because mm. doing doing a lot doing a lot yeah. for the community, um, yeah. I I mean if we I don't know. Did, oh, you had said that um, you felt like you know even though you just said you were getting help with logic for dreams tactics, like you know you had said that you felt like from you felt confident that you could tackle anything logic wise from here on out yeah i'm like if i can figure this out then there's there's really nothing there's really not much else out there that that can really 
stump me, I think. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'll pro I'm probably wrong, but I'm, yeah, I've just grown in so much confidence. So I could like program pretty much anything. Don't and stop. Like two, and two years ago, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. And so if, if anyone sucks at logic now, I, I definitely think it's easier to get good at logic than like sculpting because that takes like actual artistic skill, which is mm. so much harder to develop. Yeah. I, I think. Yeah, lo logic is just purely methodical. Huh. Intriguing. Intriguing. I, mean, I, 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 I don't know. Something about the way that just came out made me be like, is it? But I think you. But I, I mean, think uh, you're right. I, I, sure, there's I mean, there's gonna be crazier things out there. I mean, <laughs> I can't do yet. I mean, I, given I had to choose, now I'm rubbish at both, so I'm not one to talk. But if I had to choose between trying to figure out how to master sculpting or trying to figure out how to master logic, for me personally, I would say logic is gonna probably be the easier route for me because. It's just problem solving. And that's all it comes down to. There, there is a problem, find a solution. Whereas with sculpting, like you said, it's it's all about being artistic and, and you know, I'm just not artistic enough to pull it off, I don't think. Whereas I think I would have a much better shot at mastering logic because it's just problem solving. Yeah, they both take a lot of practice, but like oh, for sure. the yeah. one thing that I, I think I found I enjoy the most in dreams along with like paint effects is actually like game game design itself. Like at the when I first started dreams, I was like listening to game design podcasts and like reading up about like what good game design actually is, like how to pull it off, like designing experiences for people is super interesting. Um but yeah, I think I think a lot of the mistake a lot of people make in that regard is um, like making games for yourself, which is like totally fine in its own right. Um, but I think if you if you really want a game to do well, you need to like design it with other people in mm -hmm. mind. If that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you got to think of it as a player as opposed to a creator. Exactly, and yeah. So at this point in Dreams Tactics, I am like completely blind to how unintuitive everything is. Um, so yeah, that's why play testers are essential. Mm, absolutely. So Gizmo in chat asked, are you going to make more music? I really liked your vocals for the Allegrant mash. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I got a new microphone as soon as the, um, the new import, uh, limits were, were dropped. So yeah, definitely gonna do more of that. I got, yeah, I got an MM pick today. Bless bless yes i saw that so yeah for, for my um not my latest song but yeah i have another one out that's um yeah I, I wrote another song after the um the george floyd verdict and just like yeah some musings on that and yeah I, I really like how that one turned out that's the first one that um uses the the new import limits mm. Hmm. So how have you found the uh, the audio update? Has it has it dramatically changed how you produce music now, or is it just like a, a bit better? Like for you personally, how how has it changed the way you create music? Um, well, on, on my latest song, the one I was just talking about, I, I like recorded acoustic guitar um, straight into the microphone. Mm -hmm. So and normally, I, I really can't. I haven't found a good guitar. Um, instrument in dreams so that's always something like i've wanted to add to nearly every of my songs but i couldn't uh, really do it the way i wanted to but now mm. I, can, I can just play guitar over like a drum beat i made in dreams and do you feel that the 30 second cap is enough because like do. <laughs> if y'all saw my reaction, if y'all saw my reaction when he first brought up this topic, I knew he was going here. This now, is a, go ahead. Like, go ahead. Okay, no, for me, I, I personally feel that it needed to be a minute long. And the reason I say it needed to be a minute is because purely for singing, like if someone is trying to sing over a track. For one, 15 seconds is just, is, it's not enough. Yeah, so, that, that, yeah, 15 seconds was difficult. You know, 15 seconds was Manageable, difficult. Manageable, but 
difficult. I, I think there, 30 seconds is, is doable for sure. You see, I disagree because I think, you know, when you're singing over a track, you sort of get in a flow, right? You're getting in the zone, you're in the mood and you're there in the moment. And then all of a sudden you're going to be cut off. And then when you record the next piece, it's not necessarily going to sound the same as the piece before it because the mood has now changed. Now, I may be looking into this over, I may be overlooking into it, but from my experience with recording vocals, like you, you get yourself pumped, you get yourself in the rhythm, in the mood, and then to the fact of being cut off just kind of puts off the whole doing vocals in dreams for me. Not that it's a bad thing. I appreciate that, you know, there has to be a limit. There's reasons why it's there and I totally get it. But I think if it was a minute long, that would be the sweet spot for me in terms of vocals. Because that gives you a big enough window to get through that section of the song. Yeah, I think I think nearly every um, like number like that in Dreams is purely arbitrary. Like there's, there's so many um, things that they just had to guess at. Mm. It's the right number, like yeah. um, like 140 whatever variables, um, like 256 unique sculpts, like everything like that. They just had to guess, and they're they're definitely gonna revise a lot of that, I think, in the future. Mm. Uh, but yeah, if, like if you're over level 200, maybe, maybe give us a minute. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Didn't what's you... your what's your opinion, Will? I can see I can see you in the corner just just. Oh no, I'm out. just I'm no, I'm just I'm just I'm listening to all the all the sides and reading chat because, um, I I definitely agree with you as far as raw, mm. like if you're going in, uh, if you're trying to do it all in dreams, um, because I love doing things in Adobe Audition, like I just I love the control. And now, even with the time limit, I can do it and then just import it in in sections. Mm. You know, so I still get to do it in a full flow. Yeah, and, I suppose. And, and, that. and, and, yeah, and, and, and then cut it and bring it in. Um, but I also would still say, like, I feel like the, I feel like it only makes sense in the import rule not necessarily in the game. Like if you're in dreams recording, I feel like you should be able to go as long as you want. Yeah. I mean, it, if we're talking about dreams, longevity, <laughs> the uh, server upkeep costs are mm, uh, that is a, that a real, is a, a real expense. And yep. I, I, I feel like they definitely put those limits on there to help keep that number down. Cause yeah, yeah audio is yeah, pretty expensive memory wise. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean that's pretty much all where I stand. Like, you know, I I I get it. Uh it's not something like when I first heard it, I was like that number seems real low. And you know, I be I agree that it should have been a minute. But at the same time like I said, we yeah, we're finding a, ways to yeah, there's a workaround for it basically. Yeah, we're yeah. finding yeah. ways to do everything. So it doesn't really it doesn't really hit me the same as my own I guess my own feeling of letdown at it just being 30 seconds. Like once I got past that and it was just like, oh man, which is my fault because I was like, oh man, I, I hope they make it so you can record three minutes. And, you know, and then it was like mm, 30 seconds. I'm like, ah, you know, they hit me a little yeah, wrong. This, this but, at the, nice sure. but at the same time, after I got to sit with it for a moment and then I started to think like, you know, Ghost Fruit had brought up doing it. I like working in audition anyway, but I do feel it takes away from me. It takes away from me learning more in dreams to do it that way because now mm. I'm going to use all everything I already know for audition and I'm you know what I put in the game that's what I'm going to use whereas you know before it was more of a you know oh well I don't know how to do this in dreams and I can't go to the import so I guess I need to figure out how to make it happen like when you mm. uh for the Dino teaser trailer you were like you know you wanted it to be robotic which I hadn't thought of you know I was just like I'm just going to do the lines yeah. Um, 
And, you know, I was like, well, I have no clue how to do that in dreams. And so, you know, you knew how to do it, you and Vinwave. But I also, because I didn't know, went and figured out how to do it. Yeah. And so it's like that made me more proficient at dreams, whereas, you know, you know, I guess now in retrospect, even maybe against my own wishes, like now I do see that side where I'm just like, well, you know, I guess I'll just record it outside of dreams and import the final product. And there's, you know, nothing wrong with that. But in retrospect, I do see that difference. Um yeah, and like I, I definitely prefer to do everything in dreams too. And not everyone has like a gaming PC. Mine got stolen mm. by FedEx recently. So Oh no. <laughs> I'm I'm still waiting on that and wow. it's gonna be a while. So oh, gotta dear. do everything in dreams now. So just um, <laughs> just quickly looking at chat, uh Bustin Jeebers, which is a fantastic username by the way, uh says, Have they made any comments about the number of copyright stuff added since the update? So is that an actual thing? Is that an actual problem right now? Is like, is there more copyrighted stuff in Dreams because of the audio update? I'd, I'd assume so, just because people, because people can't behave. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, you see, because yeah. I thought that because of them doing it through in Dreams, like I thought, okay, this is clever. They're deliberately using in Dreams as the platform to import the audio so that they can monitor it better like you know like how the youtube algorithm picks up copyrighted music instantly and removes it from your video i thought they would maybe have something not maybe as as good as that because i can imagine creating co that type of algorithm would be very expensive but to some effect something like that to try and help keep the copyrighted stuff off completely before it even reaches dreams but it'd be yeah, interesting i don't think, I don't think there's an algorithm yeah I'm not convinced that there's actually mm. an algorithm, but they did say that they can um, like turn off access to the yeah. importer on an account basis. So mm. maybe those people are just like uploading it once and getting banned. I don't know. Hmm. Well, uh, I'll go back to Spicy because he said he wanted us to do a uh, Made in Dreams sculpt off. <laughs> No, not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I might. I, 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 I know this may sound strange uh, for those that don't uh, watch my other podcast, but I don't compete. I don't compete for anything. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse. Even oh, in my, e even even in my personal life or in my professional life, I don't compete. I, d I just it goes against my my soul, but. Maybe once I get the okay from somebody to actually share my work, <laughs> then uh, maybe no, maybe it's, coming. it's you, coming. You know, y'all will see a lot more of me. Right now, I can't open my dreams without spoilers, and it's starting to. It's, and that, it's, and it's, that's the only reason why. Because look, your work is absolutely phenomenal, and I would love it's, it's for not, everybody to see it. it. It's not. That I really phenomenal. would. Don't, yeah, but I, I, I think it is. So that's why I'm saying it. But the only reason why is because it's spoilers and I just don't want to spoil anything for anybody because, you know, it's such a great story and the characters are so involved in everything. And I would hate to just mess that up for everybody. I want them to experience it the right way. So, but soon people will see your work. I promise. I guys, I've been hearing that, you know, you know, that joke about like <laughs> the wife who always wanted to go to Europe and the husband's like, don't worry, we're going to go. And every year they just get a little bit older and the, 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 the love dies just a little bit more. That's what he's trying to pull on me right now, because I've been here. I've been hearing that for like eight months. I told him the other day I was just going to post all of our characters. I was like, yo, I'm just going to post everything on because I'm, 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 I'm going rogue. But, uh, <laughs> but he accused me of trying to give him a heart attack and raise his blood pressure. You did. You, my blood pressure went up. Yeah, so, <laughs> remixable, baby. Remixable. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I'm releasing everything. It just doesn't matter. But, um, but yeah, like soon soon because we're we're balls deep in a bunch of work mm. and trying to get things straight and dealing with god knows 
everything under the sun. So, oh, yeah. you know, it, 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 it original schedule, y'all would have seen things already. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this goes back to, yeah, this goes back to your, your talk about timelines and, you know, working with people, you know, not saying anything Perfect. bad about it, people. Bad. Just It's just production. And none of yeah. us are, well, some of us are professionals. I hate you. And, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but some of us are professionals, but a lot of us aren't. And we're doing what we can after work or dealing with real life and all this stuff. So yeah, like, you know, what our project will be done eventually, but, um, it is definitely, it is definitely not keeping to the timeline that we had originally set. So I think it's important to tell y'all that. I don't yeah. know. I'm probably gonna get. I'm probably gonna get no, screamed no, at no, by Jamie. No, <laughs> no, no. I don't want people expecting <laughs> Dino. <laughs> I don't I'll, want people expecting I'll, Dino out within the next uh, three months because uh, I seriously I'll, will have a heart attack. <laughs> MC Alchemist is gonna be re- reporting live blows <laughs> after the podcast. Yo, these guys are going at it. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's always fun when mom and dad fight. Anyway, the point is, is that no. <laughs> so, uh, speaking speaking of Kermitius, to get this back in the in in the uh, realm of dreams and not random, mm-hmm. well, not random topics. That that was my sound effect for the transition. Uh, uh, <laughs> so Dino as well. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, I, I, I'm, I'm going to get off the Dino topic, uh, <laughs> until your questions <laughs> later, because you said you had questions. I'm going to get, I'm going to wait till then because maybe Dino appears in that somewhere. But like recently I put out a solo imp episode with Chromidius formula for uh, formerly Mr. Wushi regarding sharing in the dream of and, uh, accidental gatekeeping and uh from what Kermitius told me like people who are actually just straight up gatekeeping which i didn't believe but you know you know i believe you had an opinion on that topic when we were spitballing like what we were going to talk about in his stream so i wanted to ask like did you want to chime in on that topic or do i need to explain it more or um i i i, th- I certainly feel like you should share if you if you like feel comfortable, but I don't, I don't think there's like an obligation, if that makes sense. Like yeah. dreams is whatever you want it to be. Um, but if you like want to be this like all powerful miserly dreamer who like keeps all his secrets to himself, that's no fun. Like it's uh, mine. It's where's, mine. <laughs> where's, like, where, where's the fun in that? Like part of the fun is being like, Oh, look at this insanely cool thing. I found like, um, like bad robos, um, like fog, mm. this magical fuckless fog. Like that, that's it's its own like, um, reputation booster. And you know, yeah, there's, there's I, a bunch of nice people. Let's, let's all be nice together. You see, I completely agree with you. And a few weeks ago, I saw a post on Twitter. Someone put up a, a video of a scene that they've been working on. And like they made this beautiful, beautiful waterfall. It wasn't bad robos, it was somebody else's. Um, but like they made this really, really realistic um water. So like where the waterfall was, the, the water was obviously completely different to where it was at the end of the scene. Like they really knitted it down and it was perfect. The flow of the water and everything was amazing. And everybody in, in the comments was asking, like, how have you managed to pull off the water system? Like, how have you got it to work the way it does? And this person wrote back, I am not telling. Like, that, that is my secret, and I refuse to share how I did it. And I just found that so anti-dreams. Yeah, it seems antithetical to, like, the ethos of, of what dreams it's like, yeah, is, it's like, objectively. What, it's, it's like, what are you gaining by withholding that information? You, you, like don't, your, you don't gain... Your game might look cooler than other people's games. Um, that, that's really about it. I don't, I don't think this, that just doesn't sound fun. That doesn't sound fun to me. Like, see, it's it about having fun. Yeah. Right? I mean, I, I, I'm not going to dictate what dreams is to people. 
Um, not saying that y'all just did. I'm just saying that, that I'm not going to. Like, for some people, it's fun. For some people, this is literally a way for them to do what they've always wanted to do professionally. And it's that big a deal. However, I don't think that part necessarily applies to dreams because I feel like if you can work within the dream system, then you could probably work within other ones that it might have been easy. You know, it, it might have been like you got proficient at it before you got to dreams. You just found a way to bring it over like that mm. look or skill or whatever. Mm. But um, uh, Jeebers asked me to elaborate. And basically what the where I stand on this is that if you make an asset, then it is yours to do with whatever you want. If you never want to release it, if you, you know, whatever, like an asset is yours. You do what you want with it. If it's a technique or if it's an understanding of the creation engine that you have that some that you see other people don't. I still say it's up to you, but remember that thing I was talking about earlier about the future of dreams? Well, the second part that I just put out yesterday for the Solo Imp Chromidius talk, because we did two talks, was the title was We Suffer because So That You Don't Have To. And I do believe that everyone that's in the dreams community right now, we're all still in the beta. We're the early adopters. And I do feel like even though I would never hold anybody else to these standards, because it's just how I feel. But what we're doing now is going to be what saves us or saves the platform in the future. When you have the people that come in, because we all know, and everybody in this chat, I think, knows that even if you had these grand ideas, when you get to dreams, everybody hits the wall and the wall is called, hey, you know what? Making a game, making music, making movies, making animation, doing painting. You know what? Art is hard to, for that Cursive song. I know I'm old, but Cursive is an awesome band. Anyway, um, like art is hard and... I've, and the 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 fear I have that led into the talk that we had on Twitter about success is that it, let's say they do make the big push for uh, for players to come in and, and like actually go for that general group of people that don't already exist within the platform. Like I have this this fear that. If we don't share enough, if we aren't as outright with things that we've figured out in the platform, there's going to be a group of people that come in, see all the beautiful things that all of you have done. And they're going to have to start so low on that pole that it's going to it's going to be a, a bigger dissuasion than people think. And that's my fear is that there's still going to be so big of a wall for even the simplest things that the people who need that leg up aren't going to be able to get it. Like logic, people share logic everywhere. It's the most shared aspect of dreams mm. other than maybe other than maybe because of its all star music. But the actual, like, how does logic work? How does this work? How do you get this? How do you make a door open? How do you, like, all that stuff. And the things that I think are the least shared are, uh, or have been the least shared, are technique in sculpting. And it's why I won't shut y'all, you know, won't be like, no, you're wrong, or anything like that. When y'all say sculpting is hard, or do, you know, because it is. Like, even for someone like me who's been in art my, my whole life, went to college for art, like uh, painting and printmaking, but still. And, and it's like, it's still hard for me. So when... So <laughs> let <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you. Everything I'm, I'm telling you. I'm about to. 
I'm about to <laughs> real talk. Like I've been looking at your videos, man. I don't know if you saw my second comment, but I, I was, you know, I, I, I see people with these, with these distinct black lines and I'm like, yo man, I need them secrets. But, um, but yeah, I just have that, that, any, that, that little fear that we're like, there are going to be people who need that leg up. And if the community isn't sharing with some of the things they've, you know, figured out, that's only going to hurt the platform in the end. But I'll never tell that person that it is their obligation to share. Yeah. Like, sharing is certainly caring, but like, if you're going to criticize someone for like not streaming, like their techniques, like that's, that's weird. That's, that's a weird see, thing to do. See, like, you, see, don't, you don't know how much time they have. You don't know like their living mm, situation. No, like, no, but I will say that I, I like having the conversation. And this is what I also tell people who say like, dude, you're negative. Like, I feel like everything I do is food for thought. That's how I approach everything. So for me, me having this conversation and the conversation existing within the Dreamiverse helps it grow. Even if somebody does come out and is straight like, oh, dream sucks, I'm a monster. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, even if they do that, it's still, if they say why they think that, I think that's helpful. And so mm. I'm never going to tell someone to be like, you know, stream, your, you know, tell us how you did it. And blah, blah, blah. I'm never going to jump on someone's, you know, Twitter and be like, you need to give up all your secrets. But at the same time, this conversation existing I believe we're already seeing the results of it because you have people that didn't stream. They just came out of the woodwork and blew our brains out the back of our heads every couple of, you know, days, weeks, whatever. They're starting to stream now. There's like, I mean, Martin Nebelong didn't stream as much as he does now oh, just a little while back. And I know his time hasn't improved because he just had a kid. So like, <laughs> like he's, but even he's come out and on YouTube, you'll see him throw out a quick two hour stream. He show, he's like showing how he sculpts and all that stuff. And that's what I'm talking about. Like just, just, just putting that out there. But again, yeah. Like, would I kill for a bad robo stream? Of course. Like, I would pay money for that. But, like, I'm not going to, like, shame him into doing that. That's also weird. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's just, uh, like, my where I stand on the topic. Because I, I do think all conversations, even ones that make you want to chop the other person in the neck, I feel like they're all <laughs> – I feel like they're all – conversations that need to be had if someone yeah, has a as as in good faith, then, yeah. oh yeah yeah okay yeah we don't want any bad faith arguments out here like no. you you don't chop those people in the neck you go straight for the knees <laughs> so uh, but, <laughs> um yeah it, it, miss Iko, she says sometimes anxiety holds people back from showing their technique that's why you can't demand it that mm. you don't mm. know what that person's going through. So you can't demand it. But if you say, man, I'd love to see it. There's nothing wrong with that. That, um, so yeah. And led better. The moment you get a chance, the moment. Yes. The moment. <laughs> we need what you. you well, what you need? Show. What, 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 I mean, not just a show. I mean, even if you ain't got time for the show, you know, the moment you could be like, oh, I'm just going to do this procreate thing or I'm just going to take this clip of dreams. Like everything you do with that, I'm, I'm, I'm on it. I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, suckling at the teats of that. And, and, and uh, Absorbing welcome, the welcome, go from Croydon. Open the absence. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, but I guess if there's anything else you, you guys want to say on um, that topic. I don't know. It's, it's, it's sort of like the argument of like ideas are overvalued. Like you can have a million ideas, but they're all worthless unless you can execute them well. So, like you could t you could teach a dreamer to fish, but like they have to like learn the execution part, which is more difficult than like someone telling you a technique. Yeah, so like, I'm, I'm not sure like how easy like. I'm not sure how easy a new dreamer would be able to like pick up these like super niche 
um, advanced techniques like bad robos fog or what what have you see um, i don't like i don't think in the door they would be looking at that stuff but i think that it's it's just like any other creation suite or platform i mean even the most obscure one if you use metabang paint pro like you can find anything you want about that engine in youtube a- anything you may not be able to paint like that person but it, if you're like hey i want to know how to blend my colors how do i use layers like how do i get that look like mm-hmm. you can find all those videos so just even i'm not saying to take away the <clears throat> the the reason for the person to work towards like getting good they're still gonna have to do that no matter what but them being shown that it's possible and then being given a path to that possibility for themselves Mm -hmm. is the hurdle that I don't want people to run into because that hurdle, as much as it's easy or whatever it may be for some people, that hurdle is a killer. There's a, this world is full of people that never went through with their dreams and not all of the, it's not because they were weak all of the time. It's just, you know, like they say about gamers who pay, uh, who spend money in uh, micro tra- transactions, and for sometimes, yeah, it's people who just can't control how they spend money. But other times, it's people who literally, ha- hey, I got, I got like five hours this week where I'm not doing anything, and I can focus on getting something d- like worked on in in dreams. That person's gonna need help, mm. like you know. Yeah, and, and, and- Kyle's is on to something. He. Like I love going on to the Reddit and like Twitter and like helping people out with their questions, whatever, like cover like newbie it might be. That's like that's super fun and rewarding. He's 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 got it right. Yeah. I I would just say that, you know, before we move on from this topic, you know, if you find you know, because there's there's a whole cheat sheet as well to dreams, you know, like with any software, you know, there's workarounds and and hidden ways of doing things that, you know, necessarily is not the the right way to do something. But, you know, you could find a weird way of doing something that just works for a particular style or whatever the case may be. I would just say I would encourage people to share it if you're comfortable with it, you know, because, you know, a lot of people are not comfortable sharing stuff and. They don't really like, you know, communicating with people, whatever the case may be. But, you know, as long as it's not in any hindrance, I would just encourage people to share as much as possible because that's what makes things work. You know, that's that's how things like dreams is built upon is by sharing the knowledge without sharing the knowledge. No one's going to grow. Only individual people are going to get better. And we I think everybody should all grow together. So. Yeah, yeah, just rise just, tide, yeah. lifts all boats. Yep. And then, yeah, being vulnerable is hard. Like putting yourself out there is hard. Mm. It's time. Some people like don't even know they have things that are like worth sharing. So yeah. yeah, and I mean, if you if you have an issue with like you know putting yourself out there, just do a time lapse or you know just do a quick recording. You don't even have to speak. You know, just just show people your work. And I think it's embracing as well. You know, to show people how you did it. You know, like look how I did this thing. Like for me, if I did something in dreams, cause I'm again, terrible at dream shaping. Like if I did something, let's just say I did something cool in music then for instance, cause that's my thing in dreams. I like to make music. Let's just say I found a really cool way to make a particular instrument that I've been having a really hard time trying to do. I would just feel the need to share that. I'll just have to make a video and say, look what I managed to do. Like, is anyone else having this problem? I found a way to do it. And I feel people should get in the habit of doing that because it only benefits everybody involved. Agreed. And so with the little time we have left, depending on how long Alchemist lets us keep them, um, (laughs) we we talked a bit before and during uh, the round table, I believe, I can never, guys, I, I really do wish I could remember to click the record button sometimes for the conversations that happen before we go live. Mm. But uh, um, I wanted to take time to hear ways that you think we can improve 
and what you would like to see from the channel and this show. Like I make no promises, but if you have, <laughs> but if you have suggestions, you know, I doubt you're the only one. And I do want people to know that they can speak to us about this stuff. So I don't know if that rolled into any of the things you wanted to ask us, but if that would, if that would help, if, is there something that you feel we're not doing? Um, no, I don't. Yeah. I think you guys do a great job, but I'm like an overly positive person. So I'll take, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take, take it. it. <laughs> I'm the bright side of everything. So you're welcome. Uh, two new hosts, maybe. Thanks, Ghost Fruit. <laughs> um, you might no. uh, you might want to check chat. Uh, Mighty Vicious of what Kel Bjorn to say. <laughs> well, Ghost Fruit, if you want, if or actually War Garble, if you want the funny hats, you have to go to my other podcast. I did the conspiracy, uh, the conspiracy theories of. Uh, conversation and i had on the huge tinfoil hat yeah. you know you have to go to that one for for that this is <laughs> this is business no. <laughs> but let me but let me but let me see what uh let me see here so kelly i just showed up can you please explain the nip discussion and then recreate the entire <laughs> interview <laughs> please thank you okay so uh, here we go <laughs> why Le- Ledbetter is putting out new work to which I said I had the lotion ready to which War Garble said uh, new artwork rubs nips and then I put taut nips so that's <laughs> so so that's where the nipple thing comes as far as far as recreate the entire interview I believe that's called the VOD so <laughs> <laughs> or, or you can catch it on Spotify as well and uh, Puda says, MC, aren't you working on an album? Hey, Puda. Um, am I? Like, I might just throw all my songs together and call it an album. So <laughs> if you could, if you want to count that, then sure, why not? I would count that as an album. Yeah. I've got a few of them. Oh, something that I actually really want to do. Like, I, I, like I've been meaning to stream. Like, I, I re- that's something I really want to do. But like, I, mm. I live in a one bedroom apartment in the city and like loud and and hard to like get time to myself to do that see i'm trying to find a new apartment with like like two bedrooms and all that crap um but yeah something i've been meaning to do is uh like live music performance in dreams it's something i've been practicing recently um if you've ever seen um bago streams bogdan uh the mm dev uh they did this show um, a few months ago for this thing called the Amaze Festival, I think it was. And it was this insanely cool uh, live music performance that was like done in Dreams edit mode. Um, so yeah, that's definitely that's something I, I wanted to do uh, recently. Like take all the songs I've made and like perform them live, basically. Huh. It's more like playing instruments over the track and like modulating things. Like, did you know you can have an effect field on the same microchip as a song and that effect field will uh, alter every single so- uh, sound in that timeline. Um, so Ooh. you can do like some really like awesome, uh, like DJing, live DJing in Dreams. Huh. Interesting. Quite. I mean, a little too interesting for my level of knowledge when it comes to music, but it's still something that I <laughs> I'm going to try to remember. So when I get there, uh, I'll be like, hey, how- let me let me check this out. Like, yeah, how cool would it be to see a live a live DJ set done in Dreams? Like how? Yeah, sweet yeah. I mean, would that I have be? it. I have it set up. I'm like, I'm just trying to practice and. Oh yeah, well you've got to, you've got to do that, Alchemist, because that would be one hell of a show to watch. That would be really really good to see. I'd yeah, like and, that a lot. And, uh, yeah. Speaking of other Twitch things, did you see the um, uh, a dreamer called the Timmy? Um, he created a Twitch plugin gadget yes like as an accompanying like th- third party app crazy and so you like you can type stuff in uh twitch chat and i'll do stuff in dreams i think that's so cool i, I, I did hear about that yeah, at I first i was, I was like what are you talking about that <laughs> yeah I, I i have no idea how it works i would love that's to magic, see something about I, it i would i would just love to see a video of how it actually works because 
like as cool as it is, I I would be more interested in seeing how it works. The fact the fact that it integrates with Twitch and it's just crazy, absolutely crazy. Well, uh, quickly, Mythic Marty, it's good to have you, especially as a first time. Uh, glad you're loving the conversation, and uh, hopefully we can keep it up. Uh, as far as Killed Beyonds, you said that you wanted a shout out for the floppy nips too. Well, <laughs> here it is. Here it is. So, <laughs> oh so, my god. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. The, so, I mean, so I guess that question kind of kind of missed in, in a uh, you know in a where I thought you might go so I guess we'll switch over to you said you had questions for us so mm. let's let's get into it uh, I mean I just like one generally wanted to ask about like working in a group and uh, like how like the original like things started like what was that process like and then like just more about your general like workflow like does is everyone like collabed into the same scene or does do people make assets in isolation does like one person put them all in the same scene i'm just like i'm just curious i, I just think it's super cool to work in teams and dreams Dream teams. so how it all started was is i originally had the idea for dino and i always wanted to create this cinematic like really really gripping story and i just had this whole idea of how i wanted it to look but i just knew there was just no chance of me pulling it off on my own like there was just no way it was just too big of a project but i just believed that it would be something that would really fit dreams so i just reached out on facebook originally on the dreams pages there because i was in those uh when i got into early access and i just lived and died on there before i realized that twitter was where things was at and um yeah, the first person that actually came back to me was Mighty Vicious, and we just built the team from there, really. And yeah, we just got people on board, explained the idea, people were just open to collaboration, and yeah, it just really built from there, and it's it's been a crazy ride since. It's been absolutely crazy. But um, in regards to creation, we do have everybody collabed into the same files. Um, but a lot of the files is made in isolation and then imported into those, obviously, to try and keep everything separate. But I'll let I'll let Will go into that because he's into more of the creation side than I am. Side note: How cool would group pages be in Dreams? Like, oh, like a in-game like group you could add, add everyone to. That'd be so yeah. Cool. Or just that the would... ability to transfer man like ownership of of a creation. Because I'm gonna tell you, we've already run into an issue where like trying to get something released through all its iterations. And it's just like, I think we might have to lose this asset because for some reason we can't get all of the things released to make it to like, to release the thing. And I've seen mm. other people have the issue, uh, in like, you know, messaging media molecule and they'll help you figure it out and get it worked out. Cause they're awesome. But, um, but yeah, so uh, as far as as far as creation, yeah, it's just everybody working in their own little section, you know, kind of like an animation studio. And then we all come together. And once we have everything set, then um, uh, if our animation person is uh, <laughs> is uh, around, then we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we'll be able to, we'll be, we, we like give everything to them and, you know, I'll do storyboards. Um, I, you know, using dreams, which it, in all actuality, that's something that I learned that was actually fun was to take like all the assets and then just make like a comic book mm. using, using shots from dreams to create like a comic book and it really helps for doing uh, storyboards and stuff like that. But I also realized after the fact that I probably should have just animated it myself when I was going through making all these little shots. <laughs> I was like, I think I would have, I think I would have been able to just animate it. It would have been quicker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I just, but uh, I mean, ultimately, the biggest issue with with uh, working in groups, so the biggest problem that you may run into, 
is the fact that, like I said, a lot of us aren't professionals. So, mm. yeah, we're even sort if of you, learning as you go, so yeah. So even if you find a, a team, you might lose someone, and it might be the person that you know you're at that step where you're like, "crap, I needed that person to be around mm. to make this all mesh." And so then you got to find someone else, but now you got to find someone else and everybody's in a group already in like 18 of them. I was trying to be nice earlier when I said five, but everybody's working on so much stuff that Mm. it's, you know, and so it's hard to have people divvy up that time. And the only incentive people have in real life is the one I'm working on now, which is like, I am actually trying to push dreams into Along with others, okay? I'm not some pioneer. There's no cape on my back. Like, there's, you know, I'm trying to push into actually being able to pay people, but not because they're asking for money, but because I know time is money. And the only incentive that a lot of people understand is this, like, if you know dreams, or even if you don't, everything you do is going to take time. And Most of the time with people working on all this other stuff, including their own passion projects, a lot of people need incentive because they might be like, yeah, we want, I want to work on this, but they can't. Like a can of worms. Yeah. Like that's, that's getting Mm -hmm. a team, getting a team is just the beginning. Yeah. So it's interesting how directing is it's, as its own skill. Oh Yeah. I mean, it's definitely something that I've learned since taking on this project and, you know, having multiple people working on, you know, the same thing is that, you know, it's difficult because everybody has their own thing to do and you've got to try and manage that in a way where everything sort of flows into one another to try and make the most of everybody's time because time is limited, you know like everybody else, we're making Dino in the spare time that we have. We all have day jobs, we all have lives, you know, so the spare time that we do have to put into this project, I'm like, okay, how can we utilize that time to the most efficient way possible? So it's like trying to plan out everything. Let's build this, this, and this first, because that will blend into this, which will make doing this later down the line a lot easier. there's There's a lot more to it than what I originally anticipated especially for a project the size of Dino. Now, it's it by no means like, you know, a massive, huge project. But, you know, it... I mean, it, for dreams, it is. No, no, it's a massive, huge project. <laughs> but that, well, uh, yeah. what I'm saying, that, that's, <laughs> what, that's, what it's, that's what it's turned into. I mean, originally, it was quite a small idea. But as the team grew and everybody had their own input of what they would like to see go into the game, it just... <laughs> You mean you mean you yeah, mean script. you mean once I rewrote the script and it became it became an epic. <laughs> but that but that's fine though. I mean that's that's what I want. You know, I, I I wanted everybody to have their own signature on this. You know, I don't want it to just be like you know, I've got this project I want doing. Let's just get all these people together and hope that it, that we make it. You know, I want this to be a team thing, and everybody to have their own input and put into the game the thing that they want so that, you know, that's their passion. You know, if you want to put something in this game that you're passionate about, then you go ahead and do it because that gives you the drive as well to continue on the project. So everybody has their own personal piece that belongs to them and that keeps the project going and, you know, that passion going. But yeah, it's, it's a crazy ride. And that's why they call it herding cats. Yeah. It's the phrase. it's it's the most funnest thing though that I've ever done. I absolutely love it, and the the people of Dreams is just so passionate, and like the people we've got working on this project is just so passionate about it, and they can't wait to see it to its full fruition. And I've never met a bunch of people like it. I absolutely love it, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, if only y'all knew how, how, because when you said herding cat, like herding cats, I was like, oh, you mean beating them to death? Like, like, like Jamie does, like like Jamie does, does. (laughs) more graphics, no, this, 
Where could, <laughs> that doesn't look right. Do it again. <laughs> That's true. No, he's not. No, no, he's not that. He's not that bad. He's, he's not that bad. Um, I'm just uh, very passionate. Just very passionate. Uh, he's, he's 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 sitting in he's sitting in the background, just wrong. <laughs> I'm just sat here, you know, turning again. in my chair, stroking my cat. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, hurting. I'm sorry. Is the D is the D not 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 hurting? Hurting. Anyway, so uh, passion bruises. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, really, it's it, it it really does come down to that where it's like he drives he drives a a. a you know what I was gonna say? So I'm not even gonna say it. Because that would have been wrong. No, no, I, but yeah, I, I do run a tight ship. I wasn't going to say that ship. But, but. <laughs> oh, no, but the, the only reason why is, is because I know that the people that I'm working with have the ability to get this out to its absolute maximum efficiency. And I just want to make sure that we reach that goal. Like, you know, if someone makes something in my team, I'm very honest. I'll say, yeah, it's good, but I know you can do better to just keep working on it. Because, like, there is a certain level of acceptance where, you know, we could go for the quality that we've got in our teaser trailer. But, like, now we're at a completely different fidelity because the people have had the time to get better at what they're doing. Because, like we said, we're not professionals. We're still learning as we go. And, you know, I'll get sent a screenshot of something. I'm like, yeah, that's good, but it can be better. And it's always in the parameters of what dreams can do. Like, you know, I, I did ask for ray tracing, but I'm not sure if Spicy Waffles can make that work in dreams. He's still, work he, he's still working on it. He's got another three months to get it ready. Otherwise, dreams does have bounce lighting, but it's only like <laughs> one or two bounces. Yeah. He so, actually I mean, did I, find I just, that out. Just throw up that, the, that uh, bounce number and tell me. Mm. There you go, spicy. <laughs> More graphics. More graphics. <laughs> <laughs> More. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, when it comes to working in a group, it's just it's it's a mixed bag. Like, you know, it is hard to find people initially, especially now that everybody's, you know, on their own thing. But at the same time, I mean, you're MC Alchemist. Like, I'm sure there are people who like you said, you've worked with some people that in my mind, I'm like, it would be a dream to work with them, yeah. even oh, if it yeah. wasn't my Beavis. project. So. Did you so. know I worked, I, had, I worked with Beavis one time? Man, that was <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, I just like asked him on a whim. I'm like, can you help me sculpt, can you sculpt this thing for me? And he was super nice dude. Um, mm. Yeah, which is why I said that one thing, like it's better to go to people with a piece and see if they have time yeah. really than it is for you know to to try to get the group together at this point but you still have to try because you never know and mm -hmm. and it and the whole process does go a lot faster when you when you have when you have a team especially a team that's dedicated mm. so yeah yeah that's what i'm saying jeevers mc got that dreams clout <laughs> so all right all right I'm all right. <laughs> so, um, I guess was was there anything else that we wanted to go over today? I mean, if you, if you have any more questions, thank you, this lady. So, chat, Jamie, chat, what you got? yeah, Jamie, your chat. No, I think I'm good. I think we've pretty much covered quite a lot today. We have, but we do, and we, and we just got a raid. So I'll give a chance oh, wow. for people who have come in to ask a question to the main mm, man, please do. MC, MC Alchemist. Um, thank you for the follow, Nick I Echo. Talk about random shit. I mean, uh, I'm working on a VR project too. That's like on the back burner ever since I started the, the Dreams Tactics. It's sort of like this uh, first person shooter like hybrid game. I want it to be playable like on both TV and VR. Mm -hmm. um, with like motion controls in both um so yeah that i like designed this like gravity gun I, like pick up objects and toss them around it's, it's super fun in vr with the aim controller 
like I, I another huge problem of mine is like scope creep like i always want to do way too much um for like what i'm like capable of in a short amount of time uh so yeah that's that's always a huge problem of mine. i'm like just got this like giant project staring me in the face and i'm like uh, <laughs> i'm gonna go do this other thing for three weeks because because <laughs> i can't do this right now yeah i'm on my hiatus currently because um, I kind of felt like I was getting bogged and I was like, I, I feel like I need to work on other stuff. So I went to like three other projects and it was just like yeah, all of it essential. Yeah. And it's also giving me time to really learn more stuff. Like I, I think that's something that probably would benefit a lot of people in their projects if they like, instead of just trying to muscle through, cause Lord knows I've seen so many people burn out like, in dreams just trying to get it done just working feverishly sometimes you just gotta step away and be like i'm gonna make a ball (laughs) i'm gonna take the sphere and i'm just gonna paint it and it's gonna be perfect (laughs) so you know yeah it's 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 something i found is beneficial we do we do have some questions in the chat oh sweet so uh bustin jeebus asks how much time do you put into dreams each week each he week was... um let's see i get off of work at like 6 30 every day um but sometimes i'll dream like on my lunch break because i'm bad i'm a bad boy <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah i think probably on average like an hour and a half a day because like on the weekends it'll be much more but like i i play plenty of other games like i play like rocket league like every other night with my buddies and i'm playing returnal now like i'll still i'll play all the new games but Mm. still plenty of time for dreams yeah i mean i would say i probably play dreams an hour to two hours a day Uh, but that's a mix between creation and playing so i do a lot of of dream surfing i love playing everybody else's creations and seeing what they've made so yeah about two hours i I really really should play more i i basically only play stuff from like people that i'm following ever since they added that uh, dreams by people you follow yeah it's been it's been such a great addition to dream if you make something and i'm following you it's it's getting a like yeah don't don't sweat well, my, it, it, I, what I, is the, what what is what is uh, all it's just, one two three asking? <laughs> no, I no, I just must be I must be way older than I feel. Just because I when you said one to two hours a night, I was like, I don't have the time. Like, oh no, I, I mine don't is have a time. mine is a dead sprint. It's like okay, I finally have some time. Turn it on. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm giving myself <laughs> carpal tunnel at like 10 times the rate, trying to get through everything I've been thinking about in dreams. And then like, when it ends, I'm just like, Ugh. okay, okay. I, I think I have time Wednesday. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, um, no, you know, I, I stay up late too. So that, that helps me, helps me get the time in. But like, I, it really depends on if I have like, project that i'm like super passionate about um because if i don't i'm just like doing like random stuff for other dreamers um i like won't dream as much but it's like yeah dreams is like the game that i'm always gonna come back to it's like mm. it's never it's not even it's not even a game i don't even want to call it that there are games yeah, in see, it but... and that's that's my main issue is like i've got all these games on my playstation and i'm like hmm, what should i play and then I just see the dreams logo and I'm like, ah, oh, and I just, I just go back into I dreams and I can't, I just can't help it. I'm like, yeah, but there might be like 17 brand new dreams that's just been released and I got to check them out. I just don't find the time to play actual games anymore. I'm just too obsessed with dreams. <laughs> yeah. It's, it. Go ahead. Playing, playing different games now is like a, a whole different lens since I mm. started playing dreams. Like, yeah, I'm like trying, I'm, I'm like keeping an eye on like what systems they're using, like what's the me- mode of interaction, like how does everything work together, like the art style. 
I I'll, I'll yeah. rarely actually finish games unless I really really love them. I I'll usually just play play a game to get a sense of like what the mechanics are. Mm. But only if I'm like in love with the story will I actually finish it. Yeah, yeah. it's like I was playing a uh, Concrete Genie not too long ago. Ooh, great. And uh, when it was like um it was on the PS uh PlayStation Plus thing or when they gave it away. And I was playing that and I was like this could just be made in dreams so easily and i just like you said you just have this lens now you have such a a deeper appreciation like, oh, for game that. development Six yeah it's just later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even like 10%. but it yeah. does though it's just like you play games now and you no longer just play them you're like x-raying them like how how was this done like in and you have such more appreciation just for like a walk cycle for instance you're like this is so smooth i wonder how long it took to get this like you know, down to the last detail of how this person walks and stuff. You know, I, I don't look at games the same anymore since getting dreams. Definitely not. Uh, Bustin Jeeber said, what's a dream you think is the most underrated? Ooh, that's Ooh. a good one. I still think, <laughs> can I say one that won an Impy? <laughs> yeah. The, the yeah. snow garden, the snow gardens. By oh Apple. my God. Yeah. It's, it should have 10,000 billion likes. It's, <sighs> It's it is. It's fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like a mm. feast for the eyes, and the game design is good. Like it's it's actually generally genuinely good game design. Yeah, yeah it needs more love. Even like if the critics like it, but I don't want the, <laughs> I want the people to like it too. And and what's one technique you think would improve every dreamer's work? Um. Hmm. That's a tough one. Uh, I'd say the uh, color tumbler on um, paintings is is hugely useful. If you like, you can you can customize it too. But if you use the default uh, color tumblers and paint a line, if you play animation, the uh, painting will just go play through however fast uh, the tumbler is going. And so you can get some like really cool, unique effects where like paint strokes have different colors in the same stroke. Um, doing that, and you can yeah, you can play with that for hours and get crazy effects. Hmm. So yeah, um, Liz Lading, it's uh, Creative Suite. That's what I usually like to call it now, because mm. yeah, it's it's. I don't know. I just feel like um, I feel like even though we naturally just our impulse is to say game. I think everyone is at that point that's in the community now that whenever you say game, you immediately have that bad taste in your mouth. Mm, yeah, like, like, it, it, like you're downplaying it, it to an extent that you don't mean to. It's like, it's not just that. Yeah, like, it's, it's gamified. But, yeah. When people ask me what Dreams is, I tell them it's a platform. That That's what I tell them. It's just a creative platform for both playing and physically creating the things that you are seeing that people are playing. Everything you see that you play, you can do. That is it. Yeah. So yeah. I'm Maybe catching up in chat ask, now. Oh, Maybe I ahead. wanted to ask your um, like, uh, like your most recent list of like most wanted things in dreams. Because mine is just it's grown by the day. Uh, well, I'd say the only thing that I really am hard pressed for the only well. There's two things that I think need to be in the game before the, bef I would say before the end of the year. There's a ton of things that would just make things easier for me, but things that I think would benefit everyone. I want the, and I've mentioned these before, I want the ability to take an image in dreams and then put that photo in a dream. I think that I think that's something that's so simple, but adds just a whole other level of detail. Yeah, then I can make the outer wilds. That'd be sweet. Yeah, so you know, it's just like uh, because I everything's movies for me, guys. In case you don't know, like you know, when I think about building out scenes, and I'm like, I want this image, or it could be as simple as even if the characters aren't done, I'll be like, well, I want a picture of this character and this character together holding each other. And then I'm like, 
But it's not going to have that image because I'm not going to try to draw it in dreams. Like it's not going to come out the way I want it to. I'm no wild out. I can't. I can't make it. See, if they if they gave me a stylus, if they gave me a stylus, I might be. I I might. I could Jerry break sort of move stylus. I I, I might be, I might become one of the cockiest oh. artists in dreams if I had a stylus, but I just not I'm not there. Like I can't use I can't use the DS4 or the the motion track on the DS4 or the move on like as accurately as I need to to be able to produce what I would like something that did, I wouldn't um, immediately ball up and throw away. Did you? Did you get Ghost Fruits uh, tip for painting with the DS4? Basically, you like you like hold it in between your knees, like you like pre- like with with pressure, like you put pressure on it, mm-hmm. and, and you only move your wrists, and it, like you can get really accurate with it. Also, turn down your imp sensitivity and all that. You see, for for two D stuff, I I I get why like a stylus or like one of those drawing tablets would make sense, but surely the move control is in a three D space is going to be easier than trying to draw 3D on like a tablet. I mean, I'm no expert, I'm not an artist or anything, but from just my mindset that's, I think like doing right. it in 3D like You're not. Yeah, it's more so the- <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had, the, I had the opportunity. I had to take it, but 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 no, like I mean, there's there's definitely there's definitely a way to do it, and I've and and I've always argued this. You know, I've said this before. I think on the podcast, like when people have the classic argument of what's better, mouse or joystick or controller. I always default to whichever one you're good at. Like it's not a it's it's not like a which one's better. It's for people who grew up playing PC games, yeah, the mouse is the way to go. But if you didn't grow up playing PC games, you're going to be better with a controller than you are with a mouse. That's so it's just what is the what is the peripheral that you are most comfortable with? And for me, because of the because I am, I would say a minimalist line artist, and the line itself is so super important to me that when I draw or try to draw or I I, I honestly think everything is just painting in dreams, like it's all just painting. Mm. Um, it it doesn't cross my mind the same way, and that is a block for me. So that that would that's one of those things where I said like there are a ton of things I would say that are you know I could argue are better are good for me, but back to the original question, the ability to take an image and then put that image in a dream, that's something that I feel like is absolutely necessary, and then it would be to have picture in picture. With an uh, internet browser, so that you can have a uh, so that you can have a reference image up while you're working. Well, you Even, can do that on the PS5, you know. Yeah, I haven't had anybody confirm that yet. Even yeah. MM didn't confirm it when I asked them. So if you um if you uh, like PS message yourself a link and open it on the PS5, there's an option to uh, do picture in picture. Well, then I only have one thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's how i made um like one of the other explosions i made i had like a gif of an explosion going on on one screen and i was remaking it in the other hmm it's great well then yeah that's i mean then that's that's it for me i mean there's like, like i said a ton of sure it's kind of annoying ton of things i wish they would do but you know, I they have a they have a list now. We've all been staring at it for months. Like there's a yeah. bunch of stuff that they've listened to us about and that they're trying to work in and that they have to troubleshoot and it's not as easy as hey, just do it. And you know, so <laughs> so you know, that's that's really it for me. I would like if it were the things that I would really like just like, yeah, do it for me. It would be 
for me to like open dreams uh in, like in PS5 uh remote play and just turn right here to my art monitor and be like well now that I have this stylus <laughs> and just start drawing that like that that would be hmm. amazing to me I mean for for me if I wanted any feature like not thinking of you know what would be good for the the greater good of dreams but just for me personally I would love for MIDI to OSC to become an official feature because as great as MIDI to OSC is right now, it, it is a bit buggy and it doesn't work right all the time. And it's just so cool to be able to plug in your keyboard and just like, you know, play in real time and that get translated into dreams. I'd love that to be an official thing that is up to date and maintained so that it works eff effectively because it just makes music creation I don't know. I, ju I just love playing live into it. Like if I've got an idea, I always have my keyboard out when I'm making music in dreams so that I can find the keys and just test out different tones because it just feels more natural to physically play it. So to be able to have that integrated into dreams officially would be really, really cool. Yeah. That's why I was absolutely gutted when Alex Evans left Media mm. Molecule. I felt like, like, a, a, like the star player on the Sixers had been traded. <laughs> like, it, was, it was like so sad. Um, cause yeah, he wrote that, um, he wrote that plugin. Yeah. It would be cool if it was, uh, officially in it. Oh man. I'd have to get a launch pad and everything just to mess around with in dreams. But yeah. So, and, and that's, um, what I would add, like, just as a back end to these, que to this question is why I, um, have talked to certain people about being a little more accepting of people who are, cause there are some people who believe dreams is done. Like when I say done, I mean, it doesn't need to change. You should just be able to work with him with what you got, all that stuff. I'm like, yeah, but you also have to look from that opposite side of the street where somebody's like, I see the potential to do something with this for me. Mm. And so the game the game creation engine, whatever you want to say, like there's a lot of stuff there, but I feel like there's a lot of things that the reason the community blows media molecules mind. It, it, it in my opinion, if I had to guess is because they knew it was capable of more than just building games, but it was going to be what most people used it for. Mm, was yeah. was building games. Yeah. And and so like there are a lot of things. It started out fantastic. It's still fantastic. But as people have found out things they wanted to do or become more involved and endeavored to do bigger and better things, there are things that don't exist in the platform yet that would benefit those people who necess who don't necessarily want to build a game. Like, I didn't come into Dreams to build a game. But after I had trouble finding a group of people to work with, I immediately shifted to someone, you know, I saw Jamie's post and was like, okay, well, let me see about making a game. I was like, I'll at least be able to get more know-how, you know, begin my learning process. We'll just go from there. But, you know, it's, it, it's everything's I feel is kind of geared towards that and painting. And when people are able to do more, which they are in dreams, you know, them saying, Hey, I think it would be cool if you added this, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you oh, know, no, some I people get, I do it all the time. <laughs> no, there are people who get mad. Like I believe, yeah, I, I believe because of some of the, some of the pushback I've gotten personally, I believe that there are people who, who, they don't just love dreams, which we all do, but it's not like they don't just love dreams. I think they feel like if you say anything that could be perceived as negative about it, that it's hurting it somehow. Well, that's whack. And yeah, I mean, that's what I would say, but it's still, that's how certain people treat it. I, I'm, I like, and, I, I, I almost appreciate that. Like, I don't think it's crazy that there's people who love dreams more than me. Just like, just blows my mind. I uh, I don't know, Jeebers. I mean, maybe they could just be trying to score internet points, but you oh, know, 
you know, the, it's it's just I, I, I no no offense to anybody, but I don't care why they say it. Like it it's just you're not the only person on the planet. So if somebody has something to say, they can say it just as much as you can say whatever you want. So, you know, that's just like I said, I keep it. I keep it. At least I thought I did. I keep it positive in the Made in Dreams podcast. (laughs) Okay, I keep it really positive. I don't like I don't want to call out nobody. I want everybody to get along. I want everybody to feel welcomed. I want to see the the group grow, not just the channel, but the overall the 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 circumference of our fandom i want it to get larger and you know anything anything is helpful even even those people that i'm just like you know you know like i'm i'm sorry that it made you mad like <laughs> like yeah, people love I'm, to be mad yeah i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry it upset you but just know that i love i love i love dreams so you know, I, I, my, I don't know. I'm waiting for, uh, for when we do get to a point, like, and I know, I know Media Molecule is waiting for it too, where we'll just be like, we have no more suggestions. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think it's ever going to happen. No, it probably never, won't. Ever, ever. <laughs> but, but I think about it from their perspective and just, I mean, the barrage of like even when they put out yeah even when they put out something they're like we're working on it that just triggers another floodgate <laughs> to just open on them like i mean it's been a, a few times within the gaming industry itself where people have you know where uh developers have opened up and i'm just like you shouldn't do that you're you're creating a whole new realm of pain a spectrum of pain like a rainbow and you're just pouring it down on your whole studio and you know i i feel for them sometimes on that because i feel like every there's so much love we're a vocal minority right now yeah we've grown so accustomed to how transparent they are it's it's really Mm -hmm. incredible like this is not normal like this is in no way the norm and i'm so appreciative yeah. It I, is. I have the. I feel like I have the dev's ear. That's so yeah. valuable for for me as yeah. a creator. I don't think I've ever known a game development company that are like that are like Media Molecule. Like that, they're, they're just so open and like we know pretty much everybody that works there, and we know their likes, their dislikes. We know their personalities. Like we know them as actual people. Like, not just as, oh, this is, like, you know, a game dev at the studio. Like, we know their personalities. We know what they like, what they dislike. We know their their pets. Like, you know, it's just crazy that they're on the same community level as us. And it's not like we're the dev gods, like, bow down to us. It's like they they put themselves... Oh, yeah, still. But they put themselves on the same level as us. And it's just like it's just so cool. You can yeah. just at them and like yeah, we get we get spoiled. That's what I'm yeah. trying to yeah. say. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And John Jeepers said in fifty years. So how about that thermo update? <laughs> <laughs> we've just we've just gotten yeah, through our list and gone right back to the beginning. <laughs> what about that thermo though? PS twenty six. What's good? Get rid, get rid of the thermo. <laughs> We don't need it anymore. You're going to fracture the community, man. <laughs> just, just all of it starts over again. Uh, uh, but yeah, I <laughs> the dev gods. So, I mean, I can't wait. Every I say it all the time, but every day on Twitter is, is like, I wouldn't be on Twitter if it wasn't for dreams. No. L- like I would, I, I've already stepped away from Facebook and yeah, like it, in, yeah, instagram was kind of like an experiment like what is this about and facebook with pictures yep yeah, and then i was like you know what twitter and i used to hate it because i'm, I'm, I'm as y'all can tell um you know a bag of hot air i love talking <laughs> so and so i was like look i can't even get out a full thought in Twitter, <laughs> like this, those character numbers. You've got to make a thread. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every post is just 
me having to add a post every other second just you know but but yeah just on the other side of that just the the reason i've stuck with twitter is purely dreams just because the stuff I see every day, even mm. if I didn't have the natural drive that I have to keep working at something because I'm hard headed, like just seeing what everyone does every every day, That's every so it's literally every day. Mm. Like, it's, it's dreams Twitter is blessed. Um, yeah, I really like it. I, I mean, I follow other game devs too, um, because they share helpful resources and, and whatnot. Yeah. But yeah, I, I also make it a, it's a fun little game. I like block every sponsor on Twitter. It's like, I just sometimes I do it for fun. It's like scroll down. I'm like, oh, you're sponsoring that blocked, sponsoring that block. Yeah. I wonder I if like you continue to do that if you'll eventually run out of, of sponsors. Never. Uh, Never. Yeah, they're going to be new ones. <laughs> they're going to start giving you sponsors from other places that wouldn't even show up. <laughs> you think yeah, you've so won? Yeah, now, I'm, now I'm getting like Russian and Arabic sponsors. It's, oh, wow. Like weird. you, you've you've done the whole of the United States. Let's move you on to other countries. Yeah, basically, <laughs> somebody go get that ad <laughs> money. It's, it's, funny, it's funny because if everyone did that, Twitter would just like crash. Like their stock price would tank like a rock. Yeah. Lord. Well, at that, I think we oh wait. Wait, Insane Alpha Beta says, "Don't forget about Dreamer Boogaloo." What am I? What am I supposed to what, be remembering? What, what is is what that for you? Alchemist? Alchemist, do you know what Dreamer Boogaloo is? I I don't I don't know. There, is it electric? What is what is a Dreamer Boogaloo? Uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for Insane Alpha to to to, to clarify because <laughs> oh, I, I must have um, missed something. Oh, maybe it's oh yes, it's the Clavathon. Oh my god, I totally that's in like back, the back of my mind. I'm I am gonna publish that at some point, but don't worry. Um, it's so basically uh, when they added the new um, cap, the collaboration cap to 30 or whatever it is, I wanted to see mm-hmm. if I could actually get 30 people to join the same scene, and it quickly devolved into like chaos a, a frame rate like mess like <laughs> craziness but it was like an awesome social experiment and uh beta and avox did did actually do a good amount of work and i'm, I'm definitely gonna publish that at some point at some point in beta at some, point. Fun. at some point at some point would recommend so and um i guess oh oh god wow oh god. okay yeah, it's just, yeah. At first, I was like, "What is that? Where is that?" <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> like, that that I'm horror, not creepy not. door just opening. <laughs> so who's uh, who's uh, who's streaming right now? We can go ahead and pass this over. Uh, Sauceless can... One is streaming as well as Magma Monster. Sauceless One, there we go. And yeah, oh we're no, go for... trick. <laughs> Trix has just shown up. Sorry, Trix. Oh no, up. Trix! <laughs> <laughs> this is, we're at the end of the show. Yeah, we're just we're just basically we uh, going in. But uh, thank you everybody for showing up. I love the interaction today. Just people chatting and all the great questions and all the love and all the nip talk and all that. All the it's, nip it's, talk. <laughs> you know, you can't. I mean, come on, you you, you come on. You gotta talk about the nips. I mean, come on taught anyway so it's all good man we're here every every friday unless i'm half dead or (laughs) you know which is always a possibility but you know whatever so thank you for joining i hope you enjoyed all the time i hope we didn't bore you too much alchemist and oh fantastic and uh we'll keep working towards getting better and um adding things to the show uh next Mm. week we have uh katai who's going to be here and Katai, yeah oh that's, yes I and can't that's gonna that. and that's gonna be fantastic and then uh we have tom dent coming mm. in that's so mm royalty yeah so uh be sure to come back next two weeks or check out the vods if you miss it so bye it's everybody also, also huh? on spotify Google Podcast, Apple Podcast. It's on all the podcast services as well. So you can listen to it while you drive. And we're out. Play.